two-day-old Seven Chatsman Chase, three-month-old Aaron Boyd Jr., Jesse Kyle, and David Griffin. These are some of the latest D.C. residents who died after someone dialed 911 and help came too late due to, quote, breaks in protocol, including sending EMTs to wrong addresses. At this point, I'm filled with outrage to know the death of my father wasn't even enough to ch for changes to be made. Family members who have lost loved ones testified at a council oversight roundtable to examine the alleged missteps in these 911 calls. Billy Shepard lost her 59-year-old daughter in 2020, who collapsed at home. Emergency help was sent to the northwest quadrant instead of northeast. I have never been given an answer or a contact or just a, a hug to say I'm sorry, nothing. I'm sorry, Ms. Shepard, that should never happen again. Now, if you want to pick out or cherry pick one or two calls, you can do that. Mayor Muriel Bowser has repeatedly defended the Office of Unified Communications in her pick to lead the agency for a second time. Karima Holmes, who told council members a family emergency kept her away from the oversight hearing. This is not cherry picking data. It's a documented troubling pattern that jeopardizes the safety of our residents in, in their hour of need. Can we acknowledge that we do have calls that were failures? And then how is it that we move forward from that? Council members' efforts to get to the bottom of those failures fell short. They did hear about a perfect storm of staffing shortages and increased calls, trouble with location trackers on cell phones, and concerns about reports in the news and by former WUSA 9 reporter, now safety advocate, Dave Statter, on his website, Statter911. The blogger, as well as the media, has made our environment hostile hostile to the point of raising an already stressful job to become more stressful. We all have to check our egos at the door here and really try to improve our systems so that we can do right by the citizens. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.